Hello everyone. This is Mike from Windows8Forums.com. We have some very good news for Windows 8 enthusiasts, as new benchmarks have been released from Microsoft Corporation. These benchmarks indicate that Windows 8 boots significantly faster than Windows 7 in every possible realm. We have 30 computers that have been tested, and while we don't know the makeup or consistency of these systems, we know that both solid-state hard drives and conventional 7200 RPM hard drives were likely used. The graph shows that the longest boot time for Windows 7 can be up to 70 seconds on these experimental systems. Meanwhile, the longest boot time for Windows 8 seems to be around 15 seconds. To make that matter more articulate, Microsoft released a promotional video showing the power of this boot time capacity. Hi, my name is Emily Wilson and I'm a program manager in the Kernel Platform Group. And today I'm going to show you how fast Windows 8 starts up. So here we have a laptop and the battery's removed so we know we're at zero power. We're going to put the battery back in. And now we're going to see how fast Windows 8 starts up. So here we go. And we're posting. And there we go. That's all there is to it. We look forward to you getting to try this out for yourself. Are you kidding me? That was friggin' unbelievable. Let's take a look, well, let's not take a look at that again. Let's just uh, be amazed by it. I believe that computer booted in 10 seconds, and I'm amazed by it. That was a Hewlett Packard laptop. Still trying to find out the model and make of that system to boot Windows 8 within a matter of seconds. I am here at shopping.hp.com, and I've gone to the high-end area of their uh, computer uh, sales. They do have a Labor Day sale on systems. And I'm checking to see if it's the Pavilion DV6Z. It is very possible, uh, since this uh, system uses an AMD quad-core A6-3400M accelerated processor with uh, 2.3 gigahertz, 4 megabyte L2 cache, with a good, decent AMD Radeon Discrete Classics graphics. I believe that may be internal. Uh, no, not exactly. Discrete doesn't sound too happy for me. I don't know. I prefer Dell systems myself, but that's just me. Um, it could be the DV6T, but she was definitely using a higher-end laptop. Either way, you're definitely not going to get this type of boot time on any, on any HP laptop that I've ever seen. I can't believe it, to be honest with you. And when I look at the type of laptop she was using, the only one that I can see is from their high-performance uh, laptop area. And it's got to be one of these systems. It could have been the DV70, but I imagine they would have tried to use the best possible uh, system. And this could have even been a dual-core i5 um, with a high cache. Uh, and it looks to be that they may have even been using a conventional hard drive since most of these systems seem to come with one. However, uh, a second generation i7 machine, the DV7T with the i7, a 6 megabyte L3 cache, 2.0 gigahertz clock speed, and a 1 gigabyte GDDR5 Radeon HD6490 would not be out of the question for a system like that to see it boot so quickly. However, we will never really know because that video is very difficult to, to see, but it definitely looked like a pavilion laptop. Uh, and that is something that's truly amazing, folks. So look forward to more information. Visit us at windows8forums.com. We're going to keep reporting on this stuff whenever we get the chance. Uh, this is awesome and unprecedented to see Microsoft releasing benchmarks for their flagship Windows 8 operating system which will be out by the end of the year 2012.